Welcome back to Roycat. Let's play Black Arts. I left you last time. I've just been joined by Zerberon and my characters are all here and ready to go. For this, in part two of my adventures through the dungeon, I'm going to be completing the dungeon and then we'll take it from there. Right, first things first, let's go to the door because that's where the arrow is pointing. And the door's locked. Surprise, surprise. Let's go to the guardroom then. See what we find there. You don't talk much, my friend said. Seems like those times. Let's see if we can hold that right. And surprise, surprise, we got we got found by some guards. Oh, what do you expect when you go to the guardroom? Now, whenever you go into combat map, the first thing I like to do is press the V key, because that the V key Vega is the default key to highlight actually it's the only key because you can't change the keys in this game is the key that highlights where things are on the map and specifically where are items that you can interact with so take Norm for instance Norim for instance he can interact with the chandelier which makes pancake of those two guards so it's even the odds from three on, from one on one to three to one now unfortunately since Zorbrand can't actually have magic yet, I'm going to have him wait. I want to see what is his range for his shock. I need to go for 3. That's alright, let, let the guard come closer. I'm in a good defensive position there. And then I'll put Zorbrand behind him so he can attack him from behind. And first, freeze guard. Here, yeah, I'm the cop. And now let's finish him off. Who's next? Ouch! Ouch! That's all I've got to say. Actually, no, I'm going to say a bit more. The guard's now been hit by wounds of two, which has him, which gives him serious negative debuffs. A mouse can come in here and finish him off. That is how bad he is. The red slashes. If you see slashes on your character, get them healed as quickly as you can. You can either use a skill treat wounds or you can find a healer. That's the only two ways I've so far found where you can heal them. So let's just finish him off quickly. Seriously, one point. <laughs> Ridiculous. You may have noticed I have a wheel. This is a fantastic wheel. This is your option wheel. Your option wheel is available by doing a right click anywhere on the map. Be careful of right clicking on your character because if you choose a spell you can cast it on your own character which I've done several times when I don't want to do that. Big mistake. So if I right click anywhere I got options. My attack options, standard attack, my spells, offensive, uh, protection, strengthens, debuffs, way to turn. Very handy button. Sometimes you want to rush into combat Actually, sometimes it helps to press wait. You have your portrait moved to the back of the turn queue. As you can see, this is the end of the turn is marked by this light blue line here. But I'd then go behind the guard. And sometimes it's good to react because then the, you bring people into your range. Then you can see what they're doing. You can know where to go. End turn, straightforward. Switch weapons. At the moment, I've got. Well, I don't have any other weapons, so <laughs> that's beside the point. Your belt when you apply things, and your look for traps. Let's just say, God, go bye-bye. And I'm going to use a Thunderbolt level 1, because that's all I need to, to finish him off. Bye-bye. Ooh, lots of toys. Let's quickly apply this. Take all. The key to the door. And here... Right, let's go to my inventory. And let's put on some armor. Let's see, since I've got enough, everyone can get Gambus some armor. Ah, oh, he's already got Gambus some shoes, so it's extra shoes to sell. Fantastic. So, everyone's got some basic armor. Gambuson is this one of the simplest armor sets. It's before you can get to leather armor for magic users. But while it's not the strongest armor, it is better than a bear chest. Go to items, nothing there. Provisions, very handy. You've got this camping option up here. This allows you to rest in the wild. Rest regenerates 
health and uh, uh, astral points but it does not heal wounds again to heal wounds you need to find a healer or you need to get you need to use the skill treat wounds okay now I'll put him to weapon set 2 it's always handy you got three weapon sets here so you can predefine what weapons a character carries but you want to set this before you go into combat reason being when you're in combat it costs a turn to switch between different weapon sets and I'll give the shield to my melee fighter and yeah that's good to go let's continue my adventure more guards so much for us wait at least for a while okay. now this is a prime example of where you can use that shield wall spell so let's right click go to protection find level 2 and he can cast this in any point where he can see now the dark blue squares are his line of sight so we're gonna place the wall right there blocking off the guards now while they are blocked off open the cell doors. I'm gonna go open the cell doors Now, as you saw, when I went over the levers to open the doors, they highlighted into red, showing that they were an interactive object. On this particular map, the only objects that I can interact on are the levers. So let's just finish that off. Now, there's no point in fighting the guards on this point in this map because the guards will be spawning continuously from this wall. It'll be a never-ending stream of guards. So just say opening the doors let them all out is the quickest and simplest ways to finish the map without taking damage the other advantage is each turn that I that take goes around I generate another ac another astral point on my characters my mage characters there and that's over quick simple free loot why fight if you don't have to it's not that you want to avoid combat so sometimes it's Handy. The name Amber Glasses was asking you about. Amber Glasses. Amongst my people, friends drink together instead of torturing one another. Torture? Who said anything about torture? <laughs> now, this is nice. In this game, you'll have a lot of options to choose to different dialogue paths. The higher charisma, the more options you'll have because you've got a high charisma. So that's also a good reason to have charisma sometimes. You can talk your way out of things. Let's see, I'm going to tell, I'm going to be a rogue. It's a long uh, story. You killed. I don't know. And where does this, I don't, you don't know. M yeah, he's got a point. I don't know much. Need to go find out some stuff. Ooh, flashback. Ah, take the blasted wooden sword. Why are we dueling? I don't know, is it really important? That's not true. We were drunk. Or... <laughs> don't be, leave them be. To the fifth hit. Yes, no, yeah, ah, accept it. All right. to the f <laughs> Just another example that drinking alcohol makes you a bit more silly. Now, here's a prime situation where you want to actually move around and use the environment. Now, right now, there are a couple of things I can interact with. I can interact with barrels, I can push things out the way and make barriers, I can go smash them, but then all of those actions cost a turn. Other side of the thing is there's a lake of water here. And that water is very handy because if you were to run into the water, you risk falling down. You fall down, it costs you a turn to get up, which may gives me an extra chance to hit you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a path. As you can see, you can click to make a path anywhere you want. If you want to run around, you can. Sometimes setting paths is very handy, especially when you know that there are traps around and you spot traps. They're sometimes easier to spot, sometimes hard, but you can work your way around it. Because if I just set to go there, I've, the AI follows a set path, which might lead me through traps, which is very annoying. In this case, I'm going to set him over there. And then so I can use an action. Oh, I got no magic. That's a duel. It's, a, it's not nice to use magic. Let's see if I can get him to fall down. I'll set my character there and end my turn. Well, that didn't work. Let's try again. Move around the lake. 
And he fell down. Now, can I get a free shot in? And it looks like I can. So, free shot in. And he ne now needs to get up. So, I'll get a second shot in for bit, good measure. Not time to move. And I will wait. Oh, he moved. Damn. Ow, when he hit me. Fuck. That sucked. Oh, well, I hit him again. Bang. So he puts me three up to his two hits. Now, let's see. He should run straight to me and fall down. So I'm three hits up to his one. <laughs> Try and use your environment whenever you can. Using your environment is a good way to victory in any combat situation. You'll come across You'll come across trolls later on in swamps. Swamps can be set on fire. You'll come across goblins in environments where rocks are falling, traps and f are flying, fireballs erupt from the environment. Use your environment against your enemies. Very, very important. No, I'm going back to. I need to fight, but you don't have. Why not? Well, that. Now this is the open world map of the Dark Eye, or Black Guards I should say. The Dark Eye is the uh, game format. Now you'll be playing on this continent for most of the game. I don't know yet if they'll be expanding this at some point, but that would be really awesome. Ooh, Octopus. No, never saw that before. All of these are towns that you can visit gradually. They all unlock as you progress through the game. At this point in time, I can only go to Nyam, to Nitha. So let's go to Nitha and see what happens. Okay, Nitha, we've got a bartender, innkeeper, a healer, and a smith. Oh, okay, she's the character I need to talk to. Not today. Trouble, you know. I've always if you've any new. You can murder such way. I'll still be a rogue. I'll say evade. But weren't you well? Her murderers. Do you know any? The to man no, he was no, where did everybody go? Everybody just ran away. He didn't even what was so important about that murder? See you someday. Now, this is very important. Now, I'll just get through that very quickly. Innkeepers are a cheap way to rest and regenerate both health and mana. So now and again, it's always handy to pop into, pop into an innkeeper and take a rest. If you don't have provisions to camp out in the wild or that option's not available, rest up in the inn. Add a one silver, silver, I don't know what to call that, it's not a, it's a talon I think they call it in the game. It's worth it. It is really worth it. It's cheap, it's a good rest. Let's continue. Oh, there's a merchant I need to talk to. Shouldn't you be swing? They be that. <laughs> Still being a rogue, no. avoid the truth. He's already in the they say the cleric, nothing else. Ah, okay, so I gotta go to the cemetery now. Let's just end this. I'll buy equipment in a moment. Now I've generated some action points. There's no healer around sorry, there's no trainer around. So let's just go build my character a bit more. His vitality is still low. So that should go up. I actually want to get them weapons that they are that they can use. So spears are easily available in the early game. Fencing weapons in the later game. Crossbow, I wonder if I've got enough for that. He's already got a bow, so I'm gonna put some into his weapon ability. Because I want him to be able to hit with a crossbow. Oh well, sorry, with a bow. Let's go to talents, confirm. Uh, I'll leave that as it is. Let's make his burst of flame that much more aina. That's fine. And I don't think I can do anything else. No. Alright, next character, Norum. Let's increase his Warcraft so he can actually see what he's shooting at or hitting at. And his body control. So it makes him that much more effective to resist hits, knockdowns and to know what's, what he's fighting. Finally, my main character. Hmm. Let's up his spells a bit. I'll yeah, I think that's fine for now. Let's go to weapons. And make spears. Oh, spears a bit more... Uh, no. 
Actually, let's not. Let's give him some more points. Yeah, that's acceptable. Close. Let's see, do I have any inventory? No, but I've got some stuff I can sell and some cash. Ah, oh, it's ducats, thalers, and farthings. <laughs> that's old English almost. English and old European. Let's go to Smith. Does he have anything for me? Now, to quick sell in this game, hold down the shift key and left click. Fortunately, I've got my shift key also bound to my microphone, so I still got to click. Now, let's see. Go to my inventory. He's got to make that, but I actually want him to get a fencing sword or a spear, which is too expensive. How much cash do I have? 12. He can get a crossbow, which will probably be a good idea. Uh, he can keep that for now, and he's got a bow already. Right, let's take a crossbow. Yes. And some bolts. How much can I get? None. I'm out of cash. No, oh, I've got some cash. Oh, yeah, that's right. When you apply bolts to a character, as you can see, I can't apply bolts to this because he's got a mace there. I've got to apply to the hand with a crossbow. Makes sense, doesn't it? Can get eight. Damn, eight shots. Okay, you better not miss. Those things are expensive. All right, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Let's go to the cemetery and fight it out. So many tombs. The tomb of the Calamars must be. Okay, now I need to go find the right tomb. Uh, it's nice, cross-shaped. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'll go to this one. Crypt. And what do you know? I find a bunch of brigands. Now let's see. He's he's got just, he's got knives or daggers. He's got a, a single, and he's in, in the archer. Now remember what I said. When you're fighting, you've got to decide. You've got to try and keep your range on your archer. So he'll be moving first, and then that character, and then that archer. Okay, I'm gonna let Norum wait his turn. And then I'll pull him back in a moment. Yeah, that's a very good point. Don't let your characters get swarmed or swamped by a single character. Otherwise, you you get a big penalty. Let's just magic my way out of this. And you can take a fireball. Oh, you look a bit hot under the collar. I'm going to move you away. And let you cool off. With a cold shock. <laughs> so now he's got a nice negative debuff. And then Norm can go finish him off quickly. With a power blow. And one point. Oh, that is so annoying. You are going to have that a lot in this game. Characters are going to end up with a single point left. So I've got to spend a whole action point to finish him off. Ouch, that was, that was impressive, wow, 3 wounds, 26 point of damage, that was really, really bad. Okay, I need to move him out the way, and heal him fast, otherwise he's not going to actually last through the fight. Ah, oh, damn it, and that failed. Shit, that's actually really, really bad. My character might just die, die on me now. Now your characters don't die in the game per se, but they do get incapacitated. Incapacitated means that they are out of the fight until they get healed. And you've got three turns to heal them. Okay, let's take him out because he did a hell of a lot of damage. Wow. Good, good, good defender. Okay, let's just help him out and fire some, throw some magic. Mmm. That hurt. You know what? You can fight. You can get magic back. I'm gonna save my uh, bolts for later. Norm, finish him. Finish him. Die. Bye bye. Okay. Now I could th I could throw I I could fire bolts on arrow, but like I said, I'm going to go. I'm going to end up taking them to town to rest in a moment, so there's no point to actually 
do that. Um, why waste arrows, you know? Let the, let's use magic, because magic I will have plenty of. Now the nice thing is, to change a weapon, like he changed from a bow to a knife, costs an action point. So, I got a free shot at him then. 8 points of damage, nice. Good defense. Okay, I can leave him there. I'll just wait. Let's see if he finishes him off quickly. Come on, hit him. Yes! Good, good, good. And let's see. Some action points, some decards. And, ooh, armor and arrows. Nice, take it. That's not a bad drop. Drops are pretty random, so you'll sometimes get good stuff, sometimes you'll get crap stuff. It's just the way, just that's just how it goes. Now these wounds are bad. I can try and use a bandage, which I don't have, or go back to town to a healer, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and finish off this dungeon before uh, before I end this video. Yeah, that's worth it. Let's just rest up. And end. Now, I did that wrong, actually. I should have gone to the innkeeper first and regenerated all the health and then to the healer because it would have made the healing charge cheaper. It's one of the small things to always bear in mind to try and make to reduce your costs. Well, you've got to think economics in this game. That sucks. Okay, gamps and boots, hardened leather. Okay, I'll take leather because leather does give a better armor buff, actually. So I can sell that later on. Now that I've got some arrows, I'll be I'll be taking shots. Okay, let's continue to the crypt. Now I made a mistake there. I should have saved. In this game, save, 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 and then save again. You can only save before combat. Quick save option is F5, and a quick load is F9. Right, skeletons. This is interesting. He's got a shield, and they've got arrows. Arrows and skeletons? No, they don't work. Skeletons are immune to arrow damage, so I have to be bashing away at them or use spells. Shields are good defenders against arrows. But let's see, I'll throw a fireball at you because everyone knows skeletons burn. Ick, bonus damage. Love it. Now, how far does your spell go? Oh, wow, 34%. That's shockingly bad. Okay, let's use your force bolts. 74%. I like that. Nice. One skeleton down, 12 da damage. Okay, let's wait with Norum so they can get closer. Okay, that's kind of annoying and bad. Now, Norum's got a cool skill. His hit, his to hit is 90% on the skeletons, so 95%. Now, if it was lower, what I'm doing now would have been great. If he runs past a target, he gets a two-hit modifier. He g it's easier for him to hit a target. Now, that one with the shield is the most least dangerous one because he can defend. So, I'm going to move my characters out the way. And then fire it, then throw some spells around. Okay, 84% on him. Let's see if I can take him out. 10, nice. You can also move out the way and throw another bolt at oh, this guy. Good! That's nice. Let's finish this fight quickly. And that's how you do it. That's a fight. Use the environment, learn what you learn what the weaknesses of targets and then take them on. Oh, that's fantastic. That's good to have. Potions will be a lifesaver. Let's just equip them quickly. Ah, I got one there. Cool. Bear in mind, potions need to be applied to your character before you go into combat and can only go onto belts. And let's save quick. Next script. Oh, this is fun. Wolves. Now, let's just move away a bit and then fire on him. That's not, he's still within five, which is disadvantages. Yeah. I'll do that one.
Now if I were to put him there, he gets 5 range, but he kind of gets blocked by that, so I'll move him there because he can fire over Norim. Yeah, and flame on. get him a bit further so I can get a better chance to hit with his arrows. Target a shot, extra damage if I hit him. Nice! To increase the range option. But he's got a spell, let's use the spell rather. Yeah, six points, that's okay. And the wolf's dexterity comes to the vodge. Wait, are those actually wolves? Yep, they're wolves. Yeah, another another magic missile. It's not a magic missile. It's, okay, thunderbolt. Sorry, wrong game. Magic missile is old dungeon dragons. And unfortunately, due to copyright reasons, you can't call things magic missiles, if unless it is a dungeon, a D and D related item. Oh, come on. seriously, one hit point. Okay, take a shot at him. Bye bye, Wolfie. Yeah, that flickering, really annoying. I don't know why, but these, this is the only character sprite that I've seen so far in this game that flickers. It is really, really annoying. Ah, good. I'll take all. Now, it's cheaper for me to actually go to town and take a rest, but that just takes too bloody long. So I'm going to use a provision. Rest up, and I've got full health and mana. The final battle awaits. Let's, let's just save. And go to the final fight. Come my guys are hungry. That one is a meat. Crip lice. I hate crip lice. <laughs> what else can you say? Crip lice, they do suck. Now, this environment got something good worth knowing. So long as these portals are open, they will be continuously spawning crypt lice. So you want to close them as soon as you can. Now Norm's going to move after. Let's go close that one. Norm can close that one. So now I've just got three ports left. The more you close, the quicker you close them, the fewer characters, the fewer um, yeah, the fewer cryptos you will have to fight. Now the I goal idea here is Wrath will close the middle one, Zorbrand will close the back one, and Norm can start tanking with these cryptos. Actually, yeah, leave him because he can. He's better at taking damage. Ouch! That's a good shot. Come on, Zorbrand! Ah, damn! He can't reach it. Okay, I'll put him up to there rather. Can close that one in his next turn. But now I run the risk of one of these spawning uh, another Cryptlaus. Cryptlice? Cryptlaus, yeah. Ah, cool. You can reach it. Awesome! Okay, which one did I hit earlier? You. Now, if he had a good animal law, a high animal law skill, he would be able to see what the hit points of the, the Cryptlice are and what his chance to hit is, which is good information. But his one is very high on humans and of course very low on animals. And he's taking a bit of damage, eh? Damn. Okay, let's throw a spell. Oh, that's low. Okay. The uh, thunderbolt. Bye bye. Hehe. <laughs> okay, do a flanking. I'll take that one out. Get away! I could have been firing arrows, but they got magic, and I will be resting after town, so let's just use the magic. Note. I could throw a fireball. Let's see, 46... Nah, not worth it. Let's throw a proper... Let's a burst of flame. Fireball causes explosive damage around, but the chance to hit was so low, it's not worth it. Focus fire, take, off, take on one target get rid of it. They can do less damage to me over time. Bang. Good. Now I've got to worry about the one now. Ah, oh, damn. 
failed. I hate it seriously when a high success chance magic attack fails. It's just like, oh, sucks. Okay. Uh, let's see, can he finish it off? Can he finish it off? Can he? Does he? Does he? Yeah, he doesn't. He's a one point left. Seriously. Okay, but he's got enough for a final magic missile, which fails. Good thing Norm's got it. He's, oh, this has got to be the lucky Scriplaus. But, well, not for long at least. Now he goes, he gets barbecued. Okay. That's the last crypt. So what do we find? We've got some loot. Take that. Let's see what's in the box. Yes, but there's nobody in it. Can you smell that? It smells of rum. Why would it smell of rum? There's something here. Some kind of stone. I know that stone. Lysander gave it to the princess. We better leave. Okay. Uh-oh. We've got another fight here. I forgot about this. Better save. Now this is a prime example. Whenever you got a map, a dungeon, that indicates we gotta go. That indicates an encounter. Now my magic's low, I need magic, he's damaged, let's rest. I'd rather rest up and be prepared than not. I've got points, let's go apply some points quickly. Mm. Actually, no, I'm not gonna apply points. I wanna save them up to rank up the primary skill or primary attributes so it affects all his future skills. There are the murderers. They match the description. Murderers? We're Anyone who breaks the law in my country is a murderer. Imp. <sighs> imp. Mm. Would you dare call a dwarf an imp? <laughs> That's a dangerous question. Let's find out who are you. Arricho Lasca, bailiff of Nitha. The law is my brother, and my family is sacred to me. I assume you intend to take us back to prison? Your heads, preferably. My dogs aren't too keen on dragging corpses around. So we meet the bailiff, and he sounds like a sadistic SOB. You know what? Bribe, fight, bribe, bribe. You know what? Let's see what does Norim have to say. Imp! Come on! There aren't that many of them! Go get them! Yeah, uh, he's a seriously gung-ho bloke, isn't he? Okay, I do all my moves before they do. Okay, I'm gonna have Norim wait. Okay, he's got a shield. Okay, let's take out the shield, uh, the shield bearer first. Ah, uh, no line of sight. I'm gonna move, get some line of sight, and then you go catch. Good shot, sixteen. Now, thanks to Norim's high Warcraft skill, he knows what they what they can do, what their what their defenses are. Hmm. Nice line of sight. Move forward. Let's try that spell again. Yeah, it's worth it. Sixty-one percent. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, crossbow. Yeah, crossbows do a lot of damage in this game. Unfortunately. They need a lot of skill for them, but they do a lot of damage. Okay, let's try and finish him off with a blow. Fuck, he missed. But he's got... Good thing that's why I waited. So he used up his first turn. And a second shot. I missed! Seriously? Damn! Okay, I'm trying to hit that crossbow bloke in the background. He's in range. Yes! Awesome. Miss always. Okay. One thing you want to always do with your ra your ranged users is get them out of of melee range. Melee range is within five tiles. Oh damn! It gets chased. Very bad. Very very bad. Okay, move Norin behind. Let's see if I can finish him off. I need to get rid of that bloke so I can concentrate on the others. Good hit. Solid hits. Move him closer. To, do, to give him a range penalty and missiles away. Nice. Okay, 
get some further range. Okay, no chances. No chances. Let's go. With, let's go with the thunderbolt. Good shot. Good shot. Fantastic. And now my tanks stay, uh, pull their aggro. Finish him off. And now we can concentrate on this last person. Now I can use magic. I think. Yeah. If you don't need to use your consumables, don't. Simple as that. Yeah. Let's try go for cold shock again. Awesome. Yeah, makes him slower, makes it easier to, to defend against him. That's exactly what you want. Use your debuff weapons. Use your debuffs. They'll be very handy in this game, all through the game. Fight over. Bailiff can run. And I got some loot. Ooh, tricorn hat and a short sword. Take it. I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm not terribly welcome here. Okay, I think I'll be calling this the end of this chapter for uh, Roycat Let's Play Black Gods. Thank you very much for joining me once more, and by all means, leave your comments and your questions in the comment field below, and I'll be happy to reply to you. Have a good evening, and good night.